When you consider the greatest enigmas of our planet regarding lost civilizations, our attention automatically sweeps to Atlantis, the pyramids, Pompeii, and the Kailasa Temple, for example. But why do we still consider Atlantis? This is a place that has never been found, yet it continues to defy logic in this day and age. Why is that, you have to wonder? Is there something deep within our consciousness that is screaming at us that is, in fact, ready to be found? Where is Atlantis exactly? No one knows, of course, but one place stands out as a clue as to what may have been of this lost continent, and more importantly, a telling sign that we are still missing the bigger picture. West of Ireland, a fabled island is said to exist. It has appeared in detail on geographic maps from as early as the 1300s and into the late 1800s. So there is very little doubt that this place exists, but just like Atlantis, which Plato described as existing near the Straits of Gibraltar, High Brazil cannot be found in modern times. Irish legend has it that this island only becomes visible from the mist it is cloaked in on the seventh day of the seventh month every seven years, but still cannot be reached. It's crazy and sounds like a myth, but it is recorded throughout history. It is documented, and there are hundreds of eyewitness accounts of this place, including that of the very famous geographer Abraham Ortelis. And get this, in 1473, the nautical map of Western Europe shows High Brazil as a circular shape with a band going through it. This has stunning similarities to the Southern American country of Brazil's national flag today that they only adopted in 1889, 10 years after the last known sighting of the island near Western Ireland. Coincidence? You be the judge. Just wait till you hear this. This island is a major piece of the puzzle, you know. We may not know why this is at the moment, but throughout history, there have been reports of godlike activity and even St. Brendan's famous journey to the Promised Land was said to have been to that of High Brazil. One of the more startling claims, however, comes in the form of a UFO incident in the forest of Rendlesham in England in 1980. Investigating strange lights, Jim Penniston and John Burroughs approached what can only be described as a UFO. He noticed Egyptian-style hieroglyphs engraved on the craft and touched them with his hand. Jim then went into a brief trance in which he sees binary code in his mind. There are reports that he was missing for hours along with Jim Burroughs, but the two men, only a brief moment had passed and the craft was gone. The next day, Jim wrote the binary down that he was seeing in his mind, and after decoding this universal language, it reads, Exploration of humanity continues for planetary advance. Followed by seven sets of coordinates, including the exact location of the Nazca Lines and the Great Pyramid, but the seventh set of coordinates was that of High Brazil. Is there something about the seven, you have to wonder, that is important? Maybe a clue to a warning, much like in biblical times, where there are countless tales of visitations and instructions received from the gods. If Jim Penniston had encountered such an occurrence a thousand years ago, for example, how would he perceive it then? Just a thought. In Celtic folklore, it is said that this place is the courtroom of the high king of the world, where he would judge every civilization. The name of this king is Brasal, and this is where the name is said to originate. Regardless of the name or location of the island, its history is consistent throughout the ages. It is the home of a wealthy and highly advanced civilization. Those who visited the island returned with tales of gold roof towers and domes, healthy cattle and wealthy citizens, as well as strange activity and secrecy, but always treated graciously. One of the most famous visits to High Brazil came in 1674 by Captain John Nesbitt of County Donegal, and he and his crew were in familiar waters west of Ireland when a fog came up. As the fog lifted, the ship was dangerously close to rocks. While getting their bearings, the ship anchored in three fathoms of water, and four crew members rowed ashore to visit Brazil Island. Captain Nesbitt and his crew spent the day on the island and returned with silver and gold given to them by an old man who lived there. Supposedly, the captain told of large black rabbits and a magician who lived in a castle by himself on the island, as well as a constant sound of harmonious music. 
Upon the return of the crew to Ireland, a second ship set out under the command of Alexander Johnson. They too found the hospitable Irish island and returned to confirm the tales of Captain Nesbitt and crew. However, further efforts to reach this place would prove hopeless as the island became harder to trace as history unfolded. The last documented sighting of High Brazil was in 1872 when author T.J. Westrup and several companions saw the island appear and then vanish. This was Mr. Westrup's third view of the Irish island and he had brought his mother and some friends to verify its existence. The famous Perry Res included a round island off the west coast of Ireland in his map of Europe and the Mediterranean in 1513. In addition, two maps from 1595, the Orderless map of Europe and the Europa Mercator map, both continue to situate a round island named Brazil to the west of Ireland. On July 7, 1878, the inhabitants of the Irish seaside town of Ballycotton in County Cork were both surprised and astounded by the sudden appearance of an island that had not been seen in the ocean before. Sightseers gathering were able to see the island quite plainly and were able to make out its coastline, woodlands, fields, and deep valleys. A number of County Cork fishermen set out in boats to investigate, but as they approached, the entire island disappeared out of existence, leaving them amazed and wondering. And this was seen by hundreds of people, by the way. It was an eyewitness account. Is this place where a higher civilization exists? Why is it hidden and why is it so important? And from this legendary place visited by Jim Penniston on a cold December evening in 1980 to warn us of a planetary advance. Perhaps this is a secret alien base just off the coast of Ireland. One thing is for sure, and that is that High Brazil will continue to fascinate the imagination for years to come. How easy or hard is it in this day and age to even hide an island, you have to wonder. What do you guys think of Ireland's Atlantis? Comments below and thank you for watching.